Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. New report just dropped and it's bad news for Michael Cohen. A new bombshell report involving President Trump's former attorney Michael Cohen just came out and it's not good news for the prison-bound disbarred attorney. After three days of trashing Trump before congressional committees this week we are learning about the details of Cohen's lucrative book deal. Let's just say that what he told Congress is completely opposite of what he writes in his book. The scumbag is simply a liar. Check this out. President Donald Trump is not crazy. Nor is he dumb or paranoid. Certainly he is not in over his head. Is he a liar? Nope. And he is not addicted to TV either, Daily Mail reports. Cohen's comments were in a book proposal that the jail-bound disbarred attorney was shopping around in the weeks before the FBI raided his offices last year. DailyMail.com has reviewed a copy of that proposal. At the time he had nothing but good things to say about his boss who had entered the White House a little more than a year earlier. Cohen was pushing a book with the working title Trump Revolution, From the Tower to the White House understanding Donald J. Trump, that he proposed to write. He sent his book to several potential publishers last year, and one, Ashet, reportedly was willing to pay him three-quarters of a million dollars for his wise words. But Cohen, who is due to start a three-year prison term in May for crimes including tax evasion, lying to Congress and making false statements, thought he could do better and continue to seek more money, DailyMail.com can reveal. I doubt he was offered $750,000. One publishing executive told DailyMail.com. If he was, he was a fool not to take it. Everything he wanted to say about Trump was positive, added another executive who discussed the deal with Cohen. Even in our meeting he was glowing with praise for the president. The executive said Cohen did not tell him whether Trump knew about the planned book. The deal with Ashet's conservative imprint Center Street eventually fell apart after Cohen was charged with the crimes that will now land him in prison. In the proposal, Cohen, now 52, said his most important job in his role as special counsel to the Trump Organization was looking out for Mr. Trump and his family. He added, Most of my work took place behind the scenes. Unless it was the sort of situation that required me to come through the front door with a wrecking ball, that is, in which case my involvement was pretty obvious. No issue was too big, too sticky or too oddball for me to tackle. I saw it all, handled it all. And still do. He started his proposal with a list of unflattering barbs that have been thrown at Trump since he became commander-in-chief. Crazy, dumb, paranoid, in over his head, liar, addicted to TV, hates the media. All of these things have been said about my longtime boss, Donald J. Trump, Cohen added. None of it is true. Except maybe that last one, about the media. Trump does believe that reporters are out to get him, and for a very good reason. Many of them are. That doesn't make him paranoid wrote Cohen. That makes him a realist. Trump responded to the report on Twitter saying, Congress must demand the transcript of Michael Cohen's new book, given to publishers a short time ago. Your heads will spin when you see the lies, misrepresentations and contradictions against his Thursday testimony. Like a different person. He is totally discredited. Congress must demand the transcript of Michael Cohen's new book, given to publishers a short time ago. Your heads will spin when you see the lies misrepresentations and contradictions against his Thursday testimony. Like a different person. He is totally discredited. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, March 1, 2019. This dude is a complete scumbag that will do anything to get a break from the Dems. God bless.